This is what she does when we're not trying to run our Saturday Night Live. She comes down, hangs out with Daddy, and snores. She'll be like this all day. Yes, we're talking about you. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleepy. Yeah, that was that's a that was a couple years ago. Um, what are you doing? Are you, there you go. Well, you point the camera. Don't do the screen. Point the camera. All right. What? Anyway, we have Roxy on her lap here. There she is. Because she is going to celebrate a birthday tomorrow, and she's got. How old are you going to be, Roxy? How old are you going to be? How old are you going to be? She's going to be 17 tomorrow. 17? She's going to be a 17-year-old beagle. Tomorrow morning? 17-year-old dog. When you wake up and bark for your breakfast, you're going to be 17? Yep. <clears throat> she is old doggy. She is old stinky doggy. <laughs> That's what she is, old stinky. <laughs> All right. Let's see how long she can stay there until she, uh... <clears throat> she gets sick of it. Like now, I think she's sick of it. <laughs> she's gonna get restless here in a minute, but yes, yeah, she's what, what, but they, they see, see she wants to say hi. She wants to say hi to Roxy, and she's looking for a treat. Oh, uh, looking for a treat, you looking gonna, for a treat. Oh, she's always looking for a treat. She's always that's, what, that's why she's been around for 17 years, is always just waiting for the next meal, and just then, wants the next treat. And then, whose birthday's on Wednesday? Whose birthday's on Wednesday? I don't know. Is it Daddy's birthday on Wednesday? Is it Daddy's birthday? It's hard to believe. Did you go out and get Daddy she a present? Was, she, she came around when I, when I turned 40. She was just born. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm going to be 57. <laughs> wow. Oh, sweetie. Uh, oh, I know it's been a while oh, since everybody has seen you. Yeah, hey, they, the medalist is in the house. Now. Tricky Chi. Chicky Chi's in the Tricky house. Tricky Chi gets to see Roxy. Debbie Deaver's in the house. Mary yeah. Dale, Beth Kurtz. Try to read the the Yeah. Elizabeth Elizabeth Hammy Jewelry's in the house. Heidi Bruce is in the here. house. Jeanette Johnson's in the house. Carrie Lynn's in the Everybody's house. Everybody's singing happy birthday Angel's to Roxy. Angel's in the house. Sandy's in the house. Hey, Mr. DeWitty, Mr. how are you here? doing? Mm. We got a chance to see girl. him earlier this week. Um, Direxy's in the house. Yeah, Conky's birthday's on Wednesday, guys. Yep. But right now we're celebrating Roxy's. It's 17th Roxy's birthday tomorrow. birthday tomorrow. Yes. Oh yes. She, 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 oh, did girl. you didn't you say you had cuddle? I, I kind of slept in. Yeah, she was on my lap a little bit this morning. Yeah, a little I, bit I, of I cuddle time. She sat on my lap this morning. Yeah, she's not a big cuddly dog, but she likes it once in a while. Yeah, and she loves yeah. daddy, huh? Yeah. You love daddy. All right, you want down? She's getting restless. She wants daddy. Come on, all right. righty. All right, get down there. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Get down there. Go walk. All right. <laughs> there she goes. That. <laughs> Off she goes. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth Handmaid's Jewelry says okay. his birthday's this tomorrow. So She's making a mess over there. Oh, oh, she is. All right. So I got to go take gotta care. She's got to go take care of something. Got to take care of something. So, anyway, Eddie's sitting over there on the... the uh, couch in his usual spot when we're doing our show uh, and it's just one of those days we got 124 people here now Pamela Lynn's here now Jane's out here wow uh -oh. Teresa says her brother turned 63 tomorrow oh. okay so we just got done eating our uh, eating our dinner we had meatball subs again tonight and we wound up, they didn't have the meatball sub buns. We wound up with these huge, this huge French roll. So I had to cut that. It was like, if you've ever seen that movie, um, Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield, where it says, I hate small food. He takes this huge roll, and he cuts it in half, and he dumps the three plates in there. And <laughs> that, that, that's what dinner tonight felt like we were doing, was eating something like that. <clears throat> but yeah, we, we had our meatball subs tonight. And we had an exciting week this last week. We uh, starting, well, okay, we probably already talked about last Saturday because we went to the um, the auction last Saturday. But 
then Monday we went and played pinball with the guys. Uh, went out to eat with, uh, actually, we went out to eat with with Jeremy and Rob, and Guapo in America showed up, kind of halfway through dinner, and they, he ordered some soup, and uh, we all went after that and played pinball at this uh, really neat like toy store slash uh, pinball place. And I think Jeremy went live from there, and they kind of accidentally made it a, a public video. So you might have got to watch some of that if you watched it live. If you didn't get to see it live, it, it probably was taken down by then. But uh, was we it noticed this. Hey, watch. Doing it too? Huh? Wasn't Guapo doing it as well? Uh, he might have been live too for a few minutes. But we did, did that. And then Tuesday, what we do, we went to Susson on Tuesday. And I uh, bought a bunch of stuff from Guapo, uh, picked up a bunch of stuff from uh, Roy, uh, Avery Zolan, and then I went up to um, Rob's warehouse and picked up a bunch of stuff there. And then we went to an auction again Wednesday morning. Well, you did. I did. She didn't. I stayed home. So it was a lot of, uh, lot of hanging out with everybody this week. And... Uh, yeah. A lot of auctions. Now, I didn't buy any storage units because I just... No, you bought everything off of... <laughs> bought everything. Yeah. <laughs> I've been getting picky about what I want to buy, so... Well, yeah. Yeah, we're starting to get a little limited on space at the moment, so... Yeah, real limited. I know. And I got this project I want to do, but it's going to require, you know... Some warm, warm weather, weather. and empty Yeah, because cans. I'm going to have to, you know, put a... I'm going to have to start going through stuff and see what i got going on try to separate the junk from the good stuff and then negative determine is this good stuff uh for ebay or not or whatever so i'm hope was hoping to do that by now but the weather's not being very cooperative um actually um it's like 30 degrees up but uh, let's see what, what it well, is outside wednesday right was technically the first day of spring but let's just say which winter. means it, it starts getting cold again yeah basically, it's 32 degrees outside Basically, Mother Nature and uh, the Old Man Winter, they're fighting it out. We know Mother Nature's going to win, but we know um, Old Man Winter's going to give her a fight. So, I just, because what's going to happen is, I got the patio out there. I was going to take a table and just start going through stuff and reorganizing through stuff, but. I'm just sorting through Tonka toys. I just need the weather to cooperate with me. That is correct, Debbie. It's been burr. And I'll tell you, when we were up at Susson, now you have to remember, Susson is right up there in Cleveland, which is like right near Lake Erie, literally. And that wind was, oh, it was so biting. Oh, it was Oh, and when we left Monday biting. night, when we left the, the pinball, oh, yeah, the, 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 it was pinball. like, what time was it we left there? Like a little after nine? Yeah, yeah. It's like after yeah, it was a little after nine. Yeah, we got the there. Stores, yeah. We were only there for a couple hours. Uh-huh. If that, and when we got there, shut up, be metalist. It was starting to <laughs> snow, and when we left, there was like three inches of snow on the ground. I doubt. And there were times coming home where you, you couldn't. See, I just was driving on blind faith that there was a road in front of me. It was that nice white <clears throat> fluffy snow. It's like, why did the snow come around Christmas? Because this is Christmas snow. Why is it coming around now when it's near Easter? Yeah, the big flakes that. Oh they, yeah, you, know, you try to catch on your tongue. I think I was trying to go try to catch the. You know, like Lucy does in the peanut special. Yeah. Or or no, she doesn't because she says something about, oh, it's too early. It's not something snow yet. But yeah, but you know. I don't know. I just it, it was it was uh, white knuckle driving for a while. And then we we crossed the, like a certain line. Like as soon as we crossed, it was after we crossed the turnpike because they didn't want us to take the turnpike home. Mm -hmm. Um after a while it just it, it turned into wet and like a, a rainy drizzle, and that was it. Yep. Just find the rest of the way home. Basically, for a while there. basically that was snow belt snow. Once yeah. we got a little bit further south, and once we kind of crossed that little line there, it yeah. was just wet. So, yeah, you, you, I didn't even know where the road was. I know. And the, what's funny is the Kevin goes seventy six here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. We had a we had a friend that he, he lived in West Palm Beach, Florida. His name was John. Unfortunately, he passed yeah, away a couple, away a couple years, years ago, ago. but. He would like to call Lee or Conky specifically in the middle of winter just to brag how. Yeah, I rode was. my bike today and went mm, to the beach. Oh, and just another sunny, warm day. Yeah. Uh, you get tired of 80 degrees every day. 
<laughs> Thanks, Tricky Cheese. Yeah, thank you, Tricky Cheese. Tricky Cheese sent a little two dollar. She, she sent an e she said, sent you both an email. Well, thank you. I think I know what it might be about. Yeah. <laughs> we can't look at it now because no. th this isn't the setup where we can get into the uh, uh, email. Well, we got open invitation from the middle yeah. of saying anytime, kids. Yeah. yeah, anytime. Can we bring our toddlers with us? Yeah, can we bring the dogs? <laughs> No, we, we won't be going anywhere for a while. Oh, God. Yeah, we're stuck here. <laughs> we got too much work to take any Too much work off. to do. I too got, much. It, oh, my God. It, and it's going to get crazier. I know. Like it's, next week's birthday week. I wanted next week to be a, a calmer week. Um, You know, a little less work, but it's uh, I'm, I'm busy every day next week. So. People call you want you yeah, to fix their just, machines, you right? Can't, you can't raise your prices high enough to get them to stop calling. So <laughs> I, just, I just keep going. Well, unfortunately, they've learned the hard way that when you do officially retire, they are kind of screwed. Yeah, they're going to be screwed. Yeah, because, um, you know, you have ethics and the work that you do. and Some people don't. Some people and, just don't know what they're doing. But we won't that could be that. part of it, too. But yeah. I know one big contract that you had they brought somebody in and he didn't know what he was yeah because i wasn't doing good enough for him and <laughs> but we won't talk about that now because <laughs> for, we've already talked about that once and we, we're gonna oh yeah so start boring people with other stuff here uh but yeah it was a great week we had so much fun the the, the, the whole dinner in pinball i really enjoyed doing that yeah, that was, was a lot of fun we were having we, we were getting jeremy going because he, he <laughs> He needed a break. You know, the running joke is that we always make out everywhere we go. We don't, but I mean, he, that, that's that's the running joke. And see, there we go. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just he gets something gets kicked out of that. <laughs> I know. I love Chicky Cheese. She goes, Jack Frost still nibbling and he's biting very severely. Yeah. <laughs> God, that wind. Oh, yeah. You know, when we let Eddie out and he only stays out long enough to pee and comes back in, <laughs> it's, that, cold. It, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, the critters don't want to come out and play, but uh. Uh, we do have the we have some kids across the street from us that uh, graduated to the dirt bikes and they were out on them this week. So I have a feeling this summer's going to be just crazy. When well, here, school. here's the thing, and I, I hate to be that neighbor, but if it gets too bad, I'm going to have to right. say something about it. it so like, actually, where where we live in the city we live in, it's against the law to ride a mini bike or an ATV, even on your own property, within 50 feet of any property line. And the lots are 100 foot wide most of the places. So if you've got more than a 100 foot wide lot, you're allowed to ride. But if you've got a 100 foot wide lot and you're not allowed to ride anywhere within 50 feet of a property line, there's no way you can ride it. So, yeah. and I don't want to be the neighbor that calls the police, but, you know, if it gets too bad, I'll go across the street and say, hey, look, can you, you know, just limit to you, the, you know, the amount of time you're spending on these things or I don't know. They're on spring break this week, so, but it's been cold, so I don't know. But Well, what do you think is going to be more like when it's warm? That's by me. I mean, they got that. That reason why I'm saying that is I've now termed it that Eddie's kind of hyper. He hears a noise. He barks alert. his ass off. He is on high alert all the time. So any little bitty tiny noise that he hears, and I'm telling you, he hears them. I, you know. Yeah, he, he's it's often woo -woo 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 -woo. It's yeah. Burp, 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 burp. slamming into the picture. Burp, 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 burp. Yeah. It's like, I mean, any time of the day, too. I think last night he did it a couple times when we were sleeping. You know, he just hears a little sound, a little tidbit, anything. And it's like, So I see the nurse and we don't even have to lock the doors in, but somebody comes near the house and he's just, you know, I know. But when, he'll at least uh, wake us up. Yeah, so he's he's on high alert. Oh, Kevin had to put a, a furnace in his, his house up here. Oh. He remembers the time that I ripped the furnace out of that house and <laughs> took it down to the, the beauty shop house. I think that was one of the one of the few times you actually surprised him. He, he needed a furnace. And you he, want a he furnace? Goes, you want a furnace? You know where is it a furnace? <laughs> yeah, I know. <don't. laughs> well, just like in that movie, um, Christmas vacation where the tree get, goes up in fire. So yeah, so it just goes out and jumps <laughs> down the tree. Well, well, we need a tree. That's, pre that's pretty much how I got the furnace. I just well, you need a fire. Okay, I, I, I just get went. You one. I went to a house that I knew had a, a, a newer furnace in it. I ripped the furnace out. <laughs> it was your property. It was my house. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't using it anymore. <laughs> it wasn't going to be our house yeah. too much longer anymore either. But that you know. So I was furnace. <laughs> well, I needed furnace on the. <laughs> Well, I we needed have. a coffin. I, I mean, a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's that's exactly it, Carrie Lynn. March came in like a lamb, and it's going out like a lion with teeth. Yes. Yeah, it sucks. Serious teeth. Oh, my goodness. I mean, the wind was a howling and all last night, and it's like, my goodness. Well, we don't like to... We don't like to spend too much time outside in the winter anyway, so... Well, nobody does. I mean, unless you're into skiing or the winter sports, nobody spends any time outside. I, I was shocked when you told me stories that when you were in Boy Scouts, they took you out camping in the middle of winter. Oh, yeah, we did tent camping in February. Tent camping? Yeah. In, oh. oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> we also did cabin camping. We, we we did our share of tent camping, too. And it, you know. well, was it cabin camping in the middle of summer? <laughs> no, it was, it was winter, too. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Nowadays, you get parrots screaming, I'm back to abuse. Yeah, well, it, it kind of taught oh. us how to survive, I guess, in the, in the oh, cold. Oh, yeah, the wind was going strong, Tricky. Yep. Where's the wind? It was so nice because, you know, the, the animals were coming down, the birds were flying, yeah. my woodpeckers were out. Yeah, I love the woodpecker. <laughs> yeah, you go outside in a t-shirt, which I do anyway, but, I mean, you know, <laughs> if I do, I'm, I'm freezing my butt off. Oh my gosh, you know, next Sunday is Easter, and how many parents will have their little girls dressed up in those spring dresses? I don't know. I don't know why they even bother selling them here in Ohio, because, you know, it doesn't get to be warm until about June. <laughs> yeah. Who kid, wants to know what Kid Conky looked like? Kid Conky looked like... a lot of pictures of me when I was a kid. Oh, Kid Conky? Yeah, what I looked like when I was five. Where are you going? Jeez. I don't know where you're going. I'm going to the bedroom somewhere. <sighs> Apparently, she has a picture of me when I was a kid that she's going to go get. And I'm going to be sorry that I read that comment. I'm, I'm going to kind of wish I didn't because... Aren't all kid pictures embarrassing? To the adults who you know grown up and you know they have to look at you know pictures of themselves as I can or not that I, mean, I don't mind looking at myself because I just don't look at them when they're shown to other people I don't you know I'm gonna have to get her back by finding some pictures of her when she was a kid but I, I don't know where I do that because you know the reason there's pictures of me as a kid around here is because this is the house I grew up in they never left the house I have to figure out where uh, where where her Kid pictures are. <laughs> Jean says, I was a cute kid, not so much now. Yeah, I guess we were all cute when we were kids. Just, just, we're, hey, if you can't find them in five seconds, you got to come back out here. She's coming, hopefully, without the, the pictures. You got them? Yep, she's, I, I lucked out. <laughs> no, you, you guys don't get to see the picture of me as a kid then. Come here, sit down. Stay away from the pictures. Okay. Tell them what, what where you thought the pictures were in the mold. I'm not, because you might think, oh. I'm not telling you. Okay. I promise, I promise, I promise I will look for pictures. Then I have to get some pictures of you as a kid. Uh, we can do that right now. <laughs> there she goes. You know where those are, though. Right? I know where those are. Okay. Wasn't there an album that Shirley gave you? There's stuff. Don't worry. Just get the album. So I don't know. Somehow we got on the. Uh, somehow we got on the kid pictures kick, and now she's out off looking for the pictures of her. See, this is the perfect scenario. You don't. You don't have to look at pictures of me. You get to look at pictures of her. She. She gets to be embarrassed, or she gets embarrassed about that sort of thing. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it at all. You got it? Yeah, she's got it. Let me see that before you show it. What? I just want to see it. No, it's mine. I, I want well, to... I want to look at it first. There's, there, there's pictures in here. Oh, wow. Those are kid pictures. Those are like when she was really young. Hold on. Those are old. Yeah, go ahead and show whichever one you want. <laughs> those are like baby pictures. You're not going to know who she, who she is by looking at it. Oh, well, let's see. Let's Show that. Is that something you colored as a kid? I don't think I did or not. Maybe I did. I don't you had beagles. Check out this picture of beagles. <laughs> that okay. was in her photo album. Okay. Oh, geez. 
You're going to rip the picture trying to get it. All out. right, here's. All right, so that's her as a kid. There I am. There she is. There's a great picture. There we go. Little faded. Looks like it's one of my birthdays. I'd say I was probably about two or three here. Yeah. Well, I'm still sitting in a high chair in one of these. So I'm not going to pull out anymore because that one, yeah, these are. Yeah, pretty, they're kind of rough to try to get out of there. They're kind of, uh, oh, God. There we go. There okay. we go. There is. Now is that, is that, that's spunky, right? That's spunky. There's no pictures of Snooky in there. No, this is spunky. Okay. okay there's. Okay, you mix There's the me. See where it comes from? There you go. I'm cleaning. Yep. Yeah, see? Alrighty. Here I am. I'm cleaning. Alrighty. Let's see if I can find some other great little pictures. So you that. got to see two big, well, three beagles, four beagles tonight. You got to see the picture, the two pictures, our beagle Roxy and her okay. beagle's the kid Spunky. This has been a beagle kind of night. Okay. There we go. There's me. There I am. Look how young yeah, I am. Yeah, that's, that's really young. Okay. There you go. There we go. <laughs> that must have been at your grandma's. Uh, this this has 67 on here. So this is probably, oh my gosh. That reminds me of that couch your grandma gave us that we had for a few years. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. Look at me. Oh, me and my mom. Yeah. There we go. She's got those mom glasses on. Oh, yeah. This is, this is the 60s. What yeah. do you want? Yeah, there we go. You come over and watch the Browns game with me. Okay, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is kind of cool here. This is kind of a cool picture. Ah. You're yeah. trying to show. Let me see. Let's see where it's at. Looks like you're trying to show your hand. Okay, this one here is kind of cool. Okay, there's little baby B on my mom's lap. And on the left of my mom is my grandma Furman. And on the left of my grandma Furman is her mom, my great grandma McKim. So there you go, four generations. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you did the same picture with Donna when Donna was born with you. Now, now, if you want to talk about cute baby pictures, let me tell you. Patient and Christian's daughter, Pepper, she is absolutely the oh, cutest yeah, little the baby. I swear she is the Gerber baby. And she looks so much like Christian. She's even got um Christian's um temperament she was just so calm she just kind of like look at you and you know she was just so cute yeah so cute we uh when we went out to eat two is it tuesday yeah it was tuesday it was after session yeah and uh patients and christians are sitting across from me and rain and I'm like where's pepper oh she's over here in the next man floor oh okay i, I wasn't I, I didn't hear her crying or anything she's just over oh, there yeah. hanging out but those two are so cute being parents you know, yeah, she, it's funny. We knew him from before they got married. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, but yeah, it's just, it was just so cute. And you could tell, I mean, you could tell she loves her mom and dad because we look at her. She just kind of looks at you like, okay, whatever. It's not <laughs> impressing me any, but she sees daddy. Woo, the yeah. smiles. She sees mom. Woo, the yeah. smiles. <laughs> And eventually she got used to Jeremy doing his, his yeah. goofy looks. You know, he's trying to get her to laugh and smile. I go, Jeremy, it takes a lot to impress her. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, she's an adorable baby. Yeah. So it was nice to get to see her because we, you know. Oh, yeah, well, I hadn't seen her since. No. Last I don't time, think we've seen her at all. That was the first time we no, saw her. Last right? time we had saw anything of her is when we all went to that um, flea market over Labor Day weekend. And, you know, patients was way out yeah, to okay. here. Yeah. So was, Pepper's six months old now. Yeah, she's really cute. Six months old. Yeah, she was born on, I think tomorrow's actually her six months. I think it was September 24th she was born. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I just, at the restaurant, the waitress asked how old Pepper was and, and patient said six months. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll try to get a hold of uh, Conky's pictures. Yeah. We'll try and I know to. they're somewhere. I don't, okay. He was a cute little boy. Yeah, Let me see the pictures I've seen. He's a cute little boy. Yeah, I could see why your mom <laughs> gave me the eye, you know. Then, then I grew up and what happened? Right? No. No. 
Eddie, what are you looking at? I don't know. He's just like. We call him our idiot. Idiot. Yeah. yeah he's the idiot. <laughs> he's an idiot. <laughs> oh my God. When he, uh, you know, gets to barking. Oh, what's that idiot bark? Idiot barking at now. <laughs> well, and he's got that that thing on his collar. We're trying to train him to come in when when we sound it off. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll go outside. He'll you know of course I've told you this. He'll be digging a hole, and all you see is a tail and a butt sticking out of the hole. <laughs> and I'll ring the tag, and if he feels like it, he'll he'll respond and come in. Most of the time, you actually have to go up there and. And like tag him, like tag your right. You got to show him you mean business by actually going there. He looks across the yard at you. He's like, you can't get me. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah we, we do have. Some, what are you going to do about it? We do have some serious uh, landscaping work needed in our yard. <laughs> yeah. Time to get the. Uh, I'm going to have to get yeah. the, the, the big machine out and fill in all these holes. He, he, um, uh, yeah, he's got up. he's got one over here. He's got one over there. I mean, it's he's going after the chipmunks. He knows we have chipmunks. And he goes that. I think the chipmunks need a U-Haul. I think the chipmunks are going to be moving out this, yeah. this, this spring when they realize, yeah. I mean, and most of them, they've pretty much been hibernating for the most part. But, you know, now it's getting that time of year. And, of course, it got cold again, so they've hit the ground again. So, but, yeah, he goes out there and dig, 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 dig. It, it was so cute that the night you go, boy, do you think these short claws are because of his digging? I go, yeah. <laughs> He's got nothing here. Yeah, just short little. Yeah, but short little claw marks. It is funny when you uh, when you go out there and all you see is this butt hanging out with this tail hanging yeah, up. Yeah, hole. And I like, you know what, buddy? You better be careful because you're gonna fall into one of these holes and you won't be able to get out. He's like crawling underneath. I got a, a trailer back here. He's like crawling underneath the trailer. Uh, yeah, you, you you took pictures of that last week. Oh, did you? Did I show? I want to show them the. Oh. What he looked like after he got done rolling in the, um, roll. Well, what it was is my drain thing for the the uh, spouting for the leaves got plugged up, and I had to um, try to find that picture. It was last Sunday. I had to pull the the plug on it, let it just go out all over the ground, and he found that and rolled in it. <laughs> and. And the result of that <laughs> is this. So he got a bath that day. Because it was stinky. I wasn't oh, it home. stunk to high hell. Luckily, I wasn't home. Yeah. I just saw the pictures. And when I got back, he was, you know. Well, I mean, basically, by the time he got, she, yeah, yeah, he got back. He was... But he, he kind of got a little bit into it again. But it wasn't too bad. I was able to get some of it off with baby wipes. So. But he uh, likes going out and getting dirty. Roxy's uh, just laying over there on her thing now. Yeah. Did we get her a cake for tomorrow? I can get her a little cupcake. Get a little cupcake or something. Tomorrow, yeah. Because, you know, what am I going to do when I get done with church? What do you usually tell me to do when I get done with church? Um, Go to get the donuts. I get this. He's still in bed, and I'm getting ready to take off for church, okay? And he'll go like this. He'll go, donuts? Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Donuts. Well, we have to have our Sunday donut, and since there's <laughs> enough, usually enough donuts in the box, we have our Monday donuts as well. Yeah, tomorrow will probably will be the four donuts, because I'm not going to be anywhere near the Walmart. Okay, then we'll just have to have the Sunday and Monday donuts. They're starting to guess the state of the bread. State of the bread. Well, <laughs> Eddie, did you get any bread today? <laughs> Are we running in the emergency room? No. <laughs> uh -huh. I think you're okay. Keep guessing. Here comes the the bread. I'm gonna go get. She's it. gonna go get it. Mr. Dewitty says three quarter. Lenny says full. Marine says full loaf. Beth says half eaten. There's a few more guesses up. Heidi says minus flat five slices. Mary loves the coffee and the donut. Elizabeth says half eaten. Um. Mary says half. Mary, Mary Beth says full. Mary Dale says half. Doreen says half. Jane Lord says three quarter loaf. Doreen baked it. <laughs> um, all right. Well, here it is. Da, 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 da. <sighs> About three quarter loaf. Yeah, I think well, maybe a little over three quarter. Yeah, I say Mr. Djibouti was probably close to it. Yeah, I think yeah Mr. Djibouti, only... and then somebody else. Oh, it was like Jane says three quarter. Oh, Carrie Wood said it too. Hey, Vandy David. says fresh. Yeah, fresh. Yeah, we got a chance to see. Uh, 
David and Becky this week too. Yeah, it was Jamie's sister. Yeah, at the auctions. So that was nice to see them. And I have to go down. What are you doing, my love? I'm trying to go down to where I can see the comments. There we there go. We go. Yes. Tricky, there Tricky, we go. Tricky, Tricky, no. Take it back and put it back where you yeah, got. Yeah, we have to do the official taking back yeah. because if you put it over the one there, time I the last time I just set it over here. That was the eight hundred and some dollar trip to the vet for <laughs> idiot over here. Mary says, "Do you ever buy bakery bread?" Not really. She doesn't. She eats the the pre made loaves. We don't actually get bakery bread, do we? Well, What's that that roll that we had of submarine sandwich? Yeah, the sub. Yeah. Bread? I'll stop at Walmart and get that for you. Yeah. I mean, this was a massive submarine sandwich. It was like a. It was still good. Yeah. But I think I kind of like the other sub rolls a little better. Well, Not as much bread. <laughs> the 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 meat the little meatballs don't get lost in the in the bread so much. Mm -hmm. We could have put, we put five meatballs on each sandwich. We could have put ten and and still had room. It'd have been too much. Well, yeah, but for I mean, me, but. Been a but sometimes when you go to the store, they don't have everything you want, so well. you gotta compromise. I wasn't going well, that was a good compromise tonight. Right? Yeah, so that's the emergency if it ever gets to be the emergency. Yeah, so yeah. yeah we always like to like, like you know figure out how much the dinner costs that we ate. So I think tonight's dinner cost us less than ten bucks. Let's see. Well, because the bread was a dollar. So you cut that in half. That's fifty cents for the bread each. And the cheese is probably like ten cents a slice. And the meatballs are probably about a dollar, maybe even less than a dollar. Okay. Because, yeah, I might buy a dollar. No, we just buy the meatballs frozen, too. Yeah. Jane asked we, if we make oh, our no. own meatballs. Don't, don't take me down that road, Jane. Please don't take me down that road. I wonder if those would taste like really good homemade meatballs. <sighs> you know, I'd like a really good homemade lasagna, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got your choice. What? I can take an hour putting together a lasagna pan. Or I could take an hour and spend it on eBay listings. Which would you prefer? I'd rather you, I don't know, spend it on eBay listings unless there you go. The stuff isn't going to sell anyway. None of my motors on here. <laughs> tried to build that store up, guys. I was downstairs cleaning off the shelves today, and I picked up something. I was just going to throw them away. The all these what are those like wallets or something? They're like travel wallets. Okay. You put your cards in there, and, and, pens I, and I went upstairs, and, and and I had, uh, I had like a, a box full of pens. I said, "Are these listed? No, pitch in the trash." Um, how about these wallet looking things? Oh, I actually sold one of those. So we, <laughs> we, uh, I didn't throw those away, but yeah, I, uh, I, I've been making more room for the the Tonka trucks that are about to show up. Yeah, Mary Dale says I went to Penn Station and it cost whoop. Are we back? We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I'm on the phone now because uh, I don't want to have this. The computer just said hibernating and it shut off. <laughs> the piece of garbage. I swear to God, I'm going to throw the thing in the trash. <laughs> Did we get this one out of a? We got it out of a storage. Yeah, yeah. I guess you got it. You get what you get, huh? So, <laughs> anyway, here we are. We're back. Yeah, and I was going to comment that I saw the comment from Mary Dale about how she went to Penn Station and got two Philly steak cheese sandwich and it cost the $22. So. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, yeah I'm telling you guys. 
It's getting I'm bad. I'm kidding, my son. Oh, and I, I, you, when it's this train wreck, I, I I should have brought the little train upstairs. <laughs> so we're on. The, I I had to bring it up on the phone now. Got to plug it in, says honey. No, what it is is um, this computer doesn't have a battery in it. It's a laptop, but it doesn't have a battery, so it's plugged in. And if something happens to the power, it just instantly shuts off. So maybe something like that happened. I don't know. The thing just came up and said hibernating, and then off, just like that. So maybe I'll buy it. But if I buy a battery for it, it might help. Yeah, I just, that I, might help. Yeah. Oh no, it's. But add it to your list of other thousand things oh, you have to crap do. I gotta do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. Well, that's just a trip to Amazon and <laughs> clicking buy now and you know waiting a few days for it to show up on the door and they punch yeah, it there's, in. There's some things that our house needs done, but it's like, okay, add that to the list you got, Connie. Yeah. yeah. So the goal was this summer to get the building up and then we'll take it to the next, whatever's next on the list. But we need that building if, if it's just a source of stuff for a little while. But, yeah, we need to but you got to get that going. We got to get that up so it starts generating income. So, yep. But yeah, I mean, eating out now, eating out now is um, it's a trick. Yeah, we don't do it. Well, we actually went to breakfast this morning. Well, more like brunch. Well, I, I guess breakfast, brunch, brunch, whatever. So we, we wound up. I mean, adjust this a little bit because it's. Do you want me to get a little pan for it? No, we're good. Okay. Just don't bump it. Yeah, we went out to brunch today, and it's like you're looking at the special boards now. Um, well, we had, we each had the same thing. We had um, country fried steak and eggs, mm -hmm. and the waitress asked, "You get your choice what? of meat and choice of bread. I got the bis, I got the uh, bagels and the sausage links." And I got sausage patties and biscuits, but then when she brought the bill, she says, "Oh, I did, we didn't charge you for the sausage. I messed up, and I did, I wasn't supposed to give you a, a sausage with." I'm like, "All right." So we gave her a, a, a decent tip. You you got sausage patties because I got sausage links. Yeah, but neither one of us was supposed to get sausage. The meat was the steak. I kind of wondered about that. I thought yeah. it was kind of odd that we were getting meat and. Right, I ate it. We got the steak. Yeah, it was stuffed. I the steak and sausage. I'll eat it. I bought the uh, sausages home, so maybe tomorrow I'll heat up a couple of toasted waffles, and there you go. Waffles and sausage. They say sugar's gone up, and that means candy donuts will be. Oh well. Well, maybe we'll stop eating so many candy and donuts. Maybe, <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll lose some of this gut of mine. No. I did pick up a little bit of Easter candy that we can't break into until the next Sunday. Okay. Because if you don't get your stuff at Aldi's now, it won't be there by the time I went back there later this next week. So, and I'm not, paying, yeah, no, just a little bit of candy, just enough to say, hey, it's Easter. <laughs> oh, was that one of those big bunnies? No, no, no. It's actually uh, Reese's peanut butter eggs and some chocolate okay. eggs. The little that they wrap the up little ones, right? Just, okay. just enough to say it was Easter. Here's some chocolate. I have yet to think of what I'm going to fix. I think what, our daughter is supposed to come over tomorrow, so I'll ask her if she wants to come over for dinner for Easter, and then we'll take it from there. What you know, what we're going to eat? Yeah. Because she's yeah, we're not real big Easter ham people, so I usually have to figure out something else. But that's fine, no big deal there. I can just eat a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I don't care. Peanut butter sandwich. Okay. <laughs> How about Swiss cheese and ham sandwiches, your style? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Throw that in there. Maybe I'll pick up one of those um, soap pies you like. Yeah, French remember, soap pie. Remember back in the day, back in the day when you could, who remembers Baker Square? Who remembers Baker Square? <laughs> I would have to go get a couple of Easter pies for bacon steak. Because we always, back in the day, went to my dad and my stepmoms for Easter. And my dad always wanted his banana cream pie, and you always wanted your chocolate silk pie. And then I usually got like a cherry pie or an apple pie. So my, my bring to the meal was the Baker Square pies. And you would have to order them, and then you would have got there to stand in line and get your pies because you had to pre order and all mm -hmm. that. So, but the Baker Square is gone now. So, and the thing closest to that silk pie is those Marie Calendar frozen pies, which are they're pretty good. They're pretty close to what Baker Squares was like. So we'll get one of those. 
So, yeah, I probably should pick that up tomorrow when I'm at the Acme, too, while I'm there. Because they won't be around if I wait until next weekend. <laughs> They'll be gone. Well, even we get it the week after that, we still get a pie. Yeah. Oh, Heidi, Donna loves that Stoker's um, mac and cheese, so I may get a pan of that, too. We'll see. I'll see what she's up to, see what she's got going on. Yeah, she's coming over tomorrow for me to work on her car again. And she's going to drop off her taxes because yeah. it's tax time, and he's yep. been spending a lot of time getting the taxes yeah, ready. I, I, and I got to finally call the account. We've got to get that done. Got to finally call the account and make an appointment. Yeah, that's it. We're less than a month away from the magic day, so yeah, get yeah. that done, get that filed. So we don't need them. If I got time for harassing that. us on that, so. So. What you got going on this week? Well, I told work. Yeah, no work, storage work, auctions work, work, work. that I'm aware of. I think we just no, had we got all the storage auctions. All the storage auctions were just uh, were pretty much last Saturday through this uh, through this past Wednesday were all the storage auctions. And I know Rob got some stuff, and I think Jeremy said he got a unit too that he's gonna have the kids take care of for him. So when did he get that? I thought he said he did at the the Wooster one, or was I wrong? On no, that? he didn't buy anything at Wooster. Oh, he did. Okay, no. well then I'm wrong. <laughs> no, it was uh, funny because we went went to go to the Wooster run, and I thought it was at the the place where I bought the Vince unit. Okay? That's what I thought too. And My bad. Regardless of that, I I looked up the address of the storage unit that that they said was going to be uh, auctioning up, and I punched it in, and it took me somewhere, and there was no storage unit anywhere around it. So I called Jeremy. I said, "Where are you at?" He says, "Here, let me send you a, a text with my location in it." So he sends me a text with his location in it. I go there, and it's a house. So I call him again. I'm like, Jeremy, where the hell are you? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so I see. I see what this did. I don't know why it sent you that location. I'm over here. He says, "Go to the 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 what is it? The Tractor King or something? Some tractor supply store out there." So I went down the street a little bit. I saw the the store he was at, and I, I looked across the street and I saw where everybody was gathered there. So I I got in there like right as they were starting the auction, and uh, there was nothing I wanted. Well, the last unit had two. Um, commercial grade lawnmowers. So I figured if I could have got it for like under five hundred dollars, I would have bought it. But it went for like eight hundred bucks. So that was the only thing I was even remotely interested in. And uh, Rob got a unit, so I hung, I hung around till he got that loaded up, and I helped him film a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I, I basically went to work. I had to go make some money. Yep, trying to make money. And if you can't go to the storage auction and buy anything there to make money on, you got to go make money some uh, some other house. Yeah, I know yep. that the lot, the, the lot of the units at Susson was was garbage, and yeah, there was um, who got the? There was one good unit that I liked, and I think KT Treasures got it. Yeah, it it looked like it had some interesting stuff in it, but you know, hopefully they did all right on it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just the two of us, so sometimes so we can't, yeah. we don't have the room. We you know don't have the building built. We sold the big building. We don't have room for a bunch of crap. So if I'm gonna buy something. It had better be, you know, good <laughs> or move fast or something. It's I, I'm not gonna just yeah. buy something uh, that I don't know what to do with. Yeah. So, what are you reading? I was just reading Jane yeah. Lawrence says she makes everything from scratch. Well, we should go to her house for dinner. <laughs> what time do we make it over, Jane? It's hard to make things from scratch for for. You know, I'll, no, I'll, I'll phrase that this way. When you're making stuff from scratch, what's two more people? <laughs> Just less leftovers. I mean, less leftovers. yeah, there's there many leftovers. Yeah, I so. think, yeah, this week is, you know, towards the end of the week, I'll be busy. Um, I'm going to try to step over and see my stepmom real quick, see how she's going to get a little something for her. And, uh, I just can't. And, and of course, your birthday's Wednesday. And then the following Wednesday is our daughter's birthday. So. I'm gonna try to figure something out there. Guys, celebrate these moments, huh? Jane wanted to know what our eBay was. Our eBay, Conky's Slipping Adventures. No, it's that's the eBay store is Conky's Treasures. Conky's Treasures. Okay. But the eBay name is Ruprecht. Ruprecht. Yeah. Okay. Ruprecht. Ruprecht. Yeah, I put on some. Um, just a couple. And the next of question is, how do you spell Ruprecht? 
R H. The H was moved after the R. It's R H U P R E C T. That's right. how our dog's name was spelled. The correct, That's how he spelled right, it. The correct way to spell Ruprecht is R U P R E C H T. I moved the H. <laughs> he was our little Pomeranian. Oh, he was cute as anything. He was cute as anything. He was a we when we picked him up from the rescue. This was like oh god, back in ninety nine. That was a long time. It was a long yeah, time. Was late nineties. Late 90s, he picked him up. He was just a little thing. It was a little pup. I go, oh how cute, you know. So we brought him home, and then it was like. But six months later, down there, I looked down and it I, wasn't that long later. It, it's like he bloomed. Yeah, oh, he no, you're a Pomeranian. Yeah, Pomeranian. Okay. He a, otherwise, he was this ugly little wiry looking he, thing. He, that, he's the know, wiry he terrier, you know? But he bloomed. Well, he bloomed. He was a beautiful dog. He was yeah. a pop. And he, oh, he was a beautiful dog. Uh, the hair, his fur could be a bit of a challenge at times, particularly towards the end of the season when he, he got all the burrs and stuff clumped in there. And oh, my God. But. He was a character. Oh, he 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 didn't really want to be a lap dog. He just wanted to be his own. You could pick him up and hold him. Mm -hmm. He was fine with that. For the most part, he just wanted to jump off your lap and just run around like, yeah, just run around like an idiot. So and before that, we had Corky. Oh, uh, Corky was the and first. Corky was. Uh, he was the first dog we got. In fact, yeah. we got him like a like a couple weeks after we got married. Mm -hmm. And we won't go into much detail, but he was a wonderful dog. And unfortunately, he got loose on me one day, and that was just a sad thing. Yeah, he, yeah. We won't go into much detail because it'll depress, it'll depress me. I don't want to do. But I, then I'll go start thinking about Eddie, and I'll get really depressed. You mean Sammy? Sammy, yeah. yeah. See, I'm getting the dog's name he's mixed up. That, that tells you we're getting old. Mm-hmm. That tells you we're getting old. <laughs> so. Don should be glad we didn't have any more kids because that'd be. <laughs> yeah, we'd be confusing their names too. I remember when my dad started calling me Don, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, you're at that point when you start going down the line of names. Oh. Well, you hit the right one, then if you're lucky, you stop. Yeah. If you hit the right one, you keep going. That, that's when you know you're screwed. <laughs> that's when you know it's all over. <laughs> all but the shouting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So. Well, we should uh, we should let you guys go. I think I'm my, 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 my on my phone here before that thing dies. Yeah, because you're little on that thing too. <laughs> yeah. All right. And the, the comments are not showing up for very long. Yeah. Because it, 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 we're looking at it on the phone, and you see one comment, and it scrolls up, so it's hard to hard to really see what's going. On. Next week, I might actually have a battery in the laptop, so we'll try to get that done. Well, and uh, have a little bit of Easter fun. Yeah, have a little bit of Easter fun. So uh, she might even have pictures of me as a kid. <sighs> they're cute. I just have to find them. I think I know where they're at, but I'm not going to say. So we're going to say goodnight here. And okay, we'll see you next Saturday at 8 o'clock right back here on Conky Slipping Adventures. You guys have a great week and stay warm. Night. Bye. <laughs>